area. And when he seen what was transpired, that Moses went in defense of the women and took him and then drew away the soldiers and ran them away. And the Bible said that the seven women as they went back home to the father, Jethro. And Jethro asked him what had happened. And the Bible said that they told him that it was some shepherds that came up on the wheel and tried to take our trough and take control of our well. And this, this Egyptian man came in our defense and run them away. I can only imagine that they could only assume that Moses was an Egyptian because of his attire that he had on. His attire was a attire of royalty, the royalty of the Egyptians. Now, uh, that's what's happened to us sometimes in, in this generation, my brothers and sisters. Sometimes we can look at an individual from the outside and draw a conclusion of that individual from the outside, not knowing the inside. Sometimes just looking at a person, you can't tell who that individual really is. Unless you take and spend a little time with that individual and recognize that this individual has a great heart. That this individual is a, has a spiritual heart. That this individual is nice and true on the inside. That the outside of a man is not only intimate, it's not the character on the inside. That's where we get mixed up on, brothers and sisters. We draw too many conclusions. Sometimes we got to get to know a person because before we can judge. It's not meant for us to judge, brothers and sisters. Sometimes we step out of line. In a sense, we get nosy want to know about an individual, so we judge him, I judge her. Not knowing this individual can sometimes turn out to be the best person in the world. Sometimes an individual can go the whole nine yards to try to be your friend. But we take and draw conclusions and cast them out and tell others lies and deceive and things about those individuals. Our uh, brothers and sisters, sometimes it's not about for us to judge no one. We leave the judging to God. Leave it to God and God only. Only God knows the heart and tries the heart. So, Moses, he, he, he said to his daughters, where's this man? I'd like to meet him. Did you leave him out? Or did you bring him with you? So they went out and got Moses and brought him in. And Moses told him the story. On the reason he had on the Egyptians attire. And I'm pretty much, he said, pretty much sure he told him that he wasn't an Egyptian, or he wasn't from Egypt. His bloodline wasn't Egypt's blood, but he was a people. So as time spent, Jethro took a liking unto Moses and gave Moses one of his daughters to marry. He, as he gave Moses went his daughters to marry, and Moses became head of his flock. The Bible said that Moses was out one day tending a flock on the west side of the Sinai Mountains. And he pretty much was sitting there that particular evening watching the mountains because he had heard so much about these mountains. And pretty much he asked about these mountains. 
it was a story in it. And as Moses had sat there and was watching the mountain for a good, a good amount of time, that he recognized the bush. He recognized this burning bush that had been burning pretty much from that morning to noon. It was burning within this, this one place, this one bush. It burned so much that it kept its, its burning existence. The flames didn't go out. It kind of caught Moses' attention. And he went up to the mountain top to check out this burning bush. The Bible says as he drew near, the God seen in him, seen him coming near, and he, he called, he called out to Moses. The Bible says that God said, Moses, Moses. Moses said, here I am. And he told Moses to take off your shoes. Moses, you're standing on holy ground. The Bible said that Moses took off his shoes. God spoke to Moses out of this burning bush. He spoke to Moses and told Moses, he said, Moses, I've heard about the Egyptians. I've heard about the Egyptians and I've heard my people crying. I've heard how bad you've been treating my people. They've been treating my people so bad and the pain that they're having has been so great that I've heard the cry. The Bible said that God, when he heard the cry of Israel's descendants, that he heard that cry and he can only start to looking back on a promise that he had made unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob.